Hello, my name is Jason Fitzgerald. We're here today in Kerry um, to show you a four bay sheep shed with walkthroughs. Okay, so inside in the shed here, we have four pins. Um, the customer requirements were for a one, one person operation for the sheep to enter and exit the, the shed. Um, so what we have here is a large feed gate, which, which is hinged and opens very easily and allows the sheep to enter and exit the building. This is a pretty new design that we have um, because basically from feedback from farmers where they were um, concerned for health reasons about dragging barriers open and pulling pins. So with the hinge system, it allows you to open the barrier and, just and, and the sheep can enter or exit without any stress or strain. Also, if you want to enter the sheep into the sheep and to, to check on the sheep or whatever work you have to do, you have a simple access gate here that opens uh, and closes again into the walkthrough. Also an added feature on all these gates, which um, make them very workable for, for a sheep perspective is basically these two studs here, one and two, which if they're opening, you can actually set the height of the gate regardless. So where these come very handy is um, if you have a, a sheep shed where you have a deep bedded situation, you can literally rise the, the feed barrier in line with the, the rising bed. Um, you also have an adjustment here. You can uh, adjust these up and down depending on the size of the sheep. And also here you have the keepers here on the wall which also have several holes in them that they, they, which will receive the gate when you rise it. And that's similar here in this gate closing into the walkthrough. In this regard you also have um, your walkthrough here which basically is adjusted as well. So um, you have these frames here which we can sell online to customers as well, and they can actually purchase their own timber and assemble them themselves. So what they'll get is they'll get the walkthrough frames, they'll get them all, which are pre-drilled and fully galvanized, and they'll actually just, all the nuts and bolts, get the timber, put together the walkthrough, and, and away you go. And you have this adjustable here, so you can rise the, the neck rail as, as, as needed. Okay, each pin is um, fitted with a cast iron drinker, a baby lac from Labovet, and basically the drinkers are set at a height ranging from 400 to 600 above concrete level. This particular customer decided that they wanted to put in um, slats instead of a deep bedding situation. Um, so you, what you have here is a very good example of how a, sh a shed can be fitted out with slats. So underneath the slats you have a central wall which you can see up here where you have dividing gates in the middle and a base plate pole that is bolted down to the center wall and the flat slats are fitted around it. The slats are mixed slats. They're, uh, they're very strong and very high quality. And basically it really does improve um, the cleanliness of sheep when they're inside in a slatted area over a deep bedded area. Along the edges of the slats here, they're fitted with edging strips to give a nice clean edge. Um, and in cases of agitation, it's simply a matter of just popping up a couple of slats. Okay, the central layout of this shed consists of two walkthroughs and a central divide. The purpose of this is basically it gives access, feeding access on two sides of each pin for the sheep, um, which basically increases your capacity to feed. Um, so basically what we have here is a six bar divide gate which closes to the keeper and again as you said the second walk through here that, uh, that sheep can be fed on both sides. Um, when it comes to walkthroughs, there are two different um, options available. So you have the timber version, which you see here in this, in this shed, or you also have a galvanized version. One of the main requirements of this shed was be able to house sheep, feed sheep, but also provide, um, I suppose, a, a facility to dose sheep or handle sheep in the wintertime without taking the sheep out of the shed. So what we have here, 
throughout the two middle bays of the shed is basically a 20-foot uh, race. Um, but we also have these handy access gates here that you can bring sheep in from whichever pen you wish into the race. The race is fitted with two guillotine gates, one each end, depending on which side you want to bring the sheep in. And a very clever system here where a foot bat is incorporated into the foot bat with this small little spring loaded gate to basically divide the race between the foot bat area and the dosing area. If you are in the process of redesigning or building a new sheep shed and you wish to seek advice, please feel free to contact me, Jason, or any one of our team at O'Donovan Engineering anytime. Thank you.